The House of Representatives has resolved to probe the Nigeria Immigration Services over allegations of passport racketeering, extortion and other corrupt practices by immigration personnel. The House says several complaints by Nigerians indicate there is large-scale corruption and extortion during the procurement of international passport, a situation the service has been unable to curb. The House says personnel of the service continue to disregard the nation's Treasury single account policy designed to curb fraud in the nation's public sector. There have been several reports of alleged extortion of Nigerians seeking to acquire international passport by personnel, by personnel of Nigeria Immigration Services. Also concerned that unsuspecting members of the public are made to pay a higher as 50,000 to immigration officers with promise to fast track the processing of their international passport. But the collection of the cash by immigration personnel instead of payment through the remitter, which the official TSA payment channel is a gross violation of the policy of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To amend the need to investigate alleged extortion, passport recreation, and corrupt practices by some officers of the Nigeria Immigration Service. Because when you are saying the whole, you are accusing all of them, not all of them are involved in the recreation. By officers of some, by some officers of the Nigeria Immigration Service. That should be the read, the word the motion should read. If, as stated here, there is a continuous, there is a breach and continuous breach of the policy of the federal government with regard to Treasury single account. As stated here, and there is exploitation of Nigerians in the open. They are collecting cash to issue Nigerian passport. And it is coming within the brief of this parliament that we should investigate it. Then you begin to wonder what the minister and those in authority are doing. What is the Controller General of Immigration doing? A minister is presiding on the, uh, over the Ministry of Interior. This should be controlled and corrected in the ordinary course of business.